We see you, entrepreneurs. Upgrade your businesses, operations, and technology systems with finance of up to 50 million rand. Business Partners Limited, the entrepreneur's financier. Siri, what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence, AI. The yep. Apart from asking Siri about the new COVID-19 variant, the latest interest rate hike or which stage of load shedding South Africa is currently on, many have been learning about the fourth industrial revolution and artificial intelligence, in particular businesses. Many small and medium businesses have been exploring these technological advancements and how they can contribute to the relevance and longevity of their entrepreneurial ventures. But how is it incorporated into a business? Thank you very much for joining us. So terms like the fourth industrial revolution and artificial intelligence are bandied about quite often. But what exactly do these terms mean and why have they become so important? The fourth industrial revolution really evolves around you know, integrating a lot of technology to expand our lives, make it seamless, automate you know, normal daily tasks via artificial intelligence. We can now you know, talk to a computer, talk to our phones and ask them questions, ask them to do certain things where we can do much, much more now, especially from a business perspective. You know, we can do, make much smarter decisions, make much smarter predictions, and we've got access to a much more you know, bigger set of data to expand our businesses, not just you know, locally, but globally. What role can the different components of the fourth industrial revolution, big data, and artificial intelligence play in the growth, the development, and sustainability of a business? Depends on you know, the type of business and whether or not they have made the decision to you know, adopt AI. The companies that have really adopted AI have seen the massive impact that it's you know, made on the products that they deliver to their clients. AI and big data and machine learning, so it's you know, fairly used interchangeable, but it all plays a massive role in how businesses benefit now from this. Mm. You know, we've got this massive amount of information that we now incorporate into different business models where we either developed a system to you know, provide smarter healthcare or provide you know, better financial predictions, fraud detections. So there's a massive amount of growth that is taken in towards AI. Are South African businesses exposed to the kind of infrastructure to incorporate um, AI, big data and the like into their businesses. We are exposed to it. The problem is we, we can't really incorporate it because of the, the costing model and the lack of funding for the smaller guys to really catch up. If they would to really you know, get on board and get to where the rest of the, you know, the world is, we really need to look at how do we support the local companies to increase the infrastructure, upgrade you know, what they're doing and to move to the cloud infrastructure because that's where everyone's going. That's where the big data is. That's where you know, the massive performance is. What about power cuts and how do those inhibit uh, businesses from operating? It's got a drastic impact on businesses, especially you know, client-facing business where they might not have you know, the resources to put in solar panels or generators to run for eight hours a day. So the software in, in general won't necessarily be impacted by that, but you know, the guys doing the work on the ground might be sitting there, can't work for four hours. So this definitely has a massive, massive impact on you know, the productivity of companies now. There is this thing that has taken the world by storm called ChatGPT. Why has it got the entire world in such a fuss? So ChatGPT is more on natural language processing. So it would speak to you as a person, not as a robot. Whereas, you know, you can ask it questions, ask its opinions, ask it to generate a blog post for you. Even more impressive is that it's disconnected. So it doesn't go to the internet to go and find the correct answers. It uses its existing learning base to adapt based on feedback it gets from the users, whether or not it answered correctly. This episode of Future Fit was sponsored by Business Partners Limited, the entrepreneur's financier, proud supporters of SMEs for over 41 years.